Oh, hi, how you doing? My name is Dr. Norton. You caught me just looking over your syllabus for this semester. I'm, I'm glad we're able to uh, touch base right now. I am Dr. Norton, and I'm your instructor for the summer session, English 201, Themes and Literature. This is a great class. Have you had a chance to look over the syllabus? Hopefully you have. Uh, there's some great works on here that I'm excited about going through them. I'm excited about going through them with you. I've got your syllabus right in here in front of me. It might be a good idea for you to pull this up right now so we can walk through it together. There's a few things I want to highlight. I know how syllabus syllabi are. Uh, I don't need to read this to you. You're, a, you're probably a great reader already. But there are a few things that I want to highlight. Namely, the purpose statement. Let's start there. The course is an introduction to various literary themes and critical approaches. Students will be asked to read and write thoughtfully about a variety of literary works. That's, that's the essence of the class right there. You're going to read and you're going to write. You're going to read great works and you're going to write about them. It's one thing, again, the discipline of reading and writing. It's, it's a great pair. It's a great match made in heaven, you might say, if you wanted to use a, a horrible cliche. When you've read something, you'll remember it to a certain extent. When you've read something and then written about it, and especially written critically, there is much greater chance of you holding that knowledge, but then again, adding to that knowledge, connecting that knowledge to other ideas that you've read or, that you, or other ideas that you've understood about life and reality. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to read and we're going to write. Also got some course objectives here, a statement about plagiarism, and a disclaimer that I can, I can change the course syllabus if I choose. I don't normally do that. Please review all those items. Course requirements, just talking about writing. Here you go, top of page two. Writing assignments. The first one on here is the first major paper, or the major paper of the class. This is an argumentative paper. Six pages in length. The key here that I want to emphasize, Ken, I know that you can read this all, but what I want to emphasize here is this is an argument-driven or a thesis-driven paper. I've got a couple great things online for you. I'm looking at my computer over here, right? And as I gesture to your, to your left, um, I've got a couple great articles on the Blackboard site for you. They're called the How-To Articles. Please check those out. I've, uh, I've found some great resources through the University of Purdue, Missouri State University as well. Both of those universities have great writing centers, and they've put out some great materials on just how to, how to create a great thesis, how to write an article review. Those are on there. Be sure to read those. That will save you some headaches in terms of just turning in stuff that gets poor grades. It will save me some headaches because I, I don't like giving bad grades, especially for things as basic as how to write a paper how to write a good thesis and there, there's some real key ways that these articles guide the student and the reader um, and hopefully you'll benefit from those if there are always if there are questions you can always you can always contact me and um and we can work things out the next one on there is a, is a 10 thesis page or 10 thesis pages uh, these are individual pages individual argumentative pages it's one page assignment for each text, for each story you're going to read this semester. From each of the plays, to each of the short stories, to each of the novels. You're going to write a one page thesis page. What this is, is, is you create an argument about The Tempest, for instance. One argument, um, uh, a thesis statement, an arguable assertion about The Tempest. And you write one page, about 250 words, on that argument. When you get to the end of that page, stop. When you've written 250 words, stop. You don't have to continue, you don't have to finish, you don't have to conclude it. You have to start the argument. I like this assignment because it gets my students thinking argumentatively about what they've read. I don't need you to write a paper about each, each uh, book, although that would be a really cool exercise if you want to continue to write all those. I feel like that would go beyond the requirements of the class. But what this does is it gets you writing and thinking about every work. And then, nicely, by the end of the semester, when it's time to write the major paper, you have 10 thesis pages written. You have 10 arguments at your disposal. Kind of look across them, and if you so choose, you can use one of those to write your major paper. You don't have to use those, uh, but you can. Third thing here is the article review. Again, check out the how-to article on the Blackboard site before you write the article review. But basically, this is a review of an article that's been written about the text you're, re you're, you're reading that week. So there, there's an article about The Tempest, there's an article about Harry Potter, there's an article about fantasy literature, there's an article about uh, Christopher Marlowe's Dr. Faustus, and so forth. D, foster summaries. 
Rich, uh, not Richard Foster, Thomas Foster. Richard Foster is a good writer, but that's a different, uh, different topic. Uh, Thomas Foster wrote a book called How to Read Like an English Professor, which I think is a funny title, but um, his work is very helpful. I think it's very um, approachable. And I want you to write just a basic summary of the chapters that are assigned. You'll, uh, you'll submit all these papers to Safe Assign, which is a plagiarism uh, tool we use here at the university. And um, it, just, it just finds your sources and it finds where you're getting your materials. And obviously it won't find anything for you because all of this will be your own work. I'm not having you use any sources for this class because I want, to want you to be thinking of all your own arguments, all your own ideas, nothing used from outside sources. There will also be eight reading quizzes throughout the semester and those you'll be taking on Blackboard site. So let's look at these texts. Some pretty exciting stuff here. William Shakespeare's The Tempest, that's how we're going to kick it off. And that's a great way to kick it off, if I do say so myself. The Tempest is a fantastic work. It's about a guy named Prospero who gets involved in black magic and all kinds of, of information, wisdom-seeking practices that are part of a, kind of the dark arts. He gets involved in this, and he ends up losing everything. He almost loses his life and the life of his daughter. Uh, this text is about revenge. This text is about forgiveness. This text is about reconciliation and humiliation. Hopefully you'll enjoy it as much as I do. I love this guy Prospero. He's a very complex man. His daughter is beautiful and wonderful, and she meets a, an amazing guy on the island where they live. Christopher Marlowe, Dr. Faustus. Similar in some ways. Dr. Faustus sells his soul to the devil. That's the opening scene. He sells his soul to the devil for what? For all the knowledge in the world. Let's see how that plays out. And that's, that's Dr. Faustus. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, J.K. Rowling, is a classics expert. Uh, she studied the classics in college. Very good. And she really weaves into this work some really interesting archetypes. Some interesting characterization. This is a kid's book in some ways. But in some ways, it's a college text in, in what it offers us in terms of analysis of archetypes. What it offers us in the analysis of characterization, conflict. And so forth. A, a rich text for our study here in literature. Edgar Rice Burroughs' Tarzan of the Apes. This is a great novel. Uh, Edgar Rice Burroughs, science fiction uh, writer, writes about a boy who grows up with the apes. Now, most likely when you were little, you saw the cartoon version, the Disney version of this. Very different. This text is darker, uh, more complex, uh, far better. Uh, no offense to Disney or anything, but uh, this is just a really rich text with a lot of uh, controversial ideas. Would men and women have been better off if they had remained uh, living with in the animal kingdom as opposed to creating their own civilizations and, and uh, becoming re reduced in a way uh, through technology? Has technology fattened us and made us lose our adaptability and our instinctual uh, qualities as animals? Do humans have instincts? This is, these are things that, that uh, Edgar Rice Burroughs plays with, but in the midst of his, his uh, playfulness, some really great questions are asked that I think are worth thinking through. Nathaniel Hawthorne. Nathaniel Hawthorne is an, a wonderful short story writer. You're going to read six short stories by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Some of them have to do with your soul. Some have to do with the relationship between men and women. Some have to do with the relationship between men and women and God in the Celestial Railroad. Uh, a very interesting parody of John Bunyan's uh, great classic, Pilgrim's Progress. What does it mean to be a person of faith? Uh, these are all questions Nathaniel Hawthorne asks, and hopefully you and I will be able to answer some of them this semester. Uh, the last one on here, Thomas Foster's How to Read Literature Like a Professor. Um, again, a good text about how to, approach, how to approach novels, how to approach plays, how to approach short stories. What are some keys to, to good, clear, uh, strategic reading. The Purdue University Guide is a great resource for you. That is an online resource that the per Purdue University Writing Center has offered all students all across the country. This is great. It's called, it's at uh, www.owlatpurdue. Fantastic source. Um, I also have several articles in the course documents folder that you'll want to be reading as they're assigned in the text or in the um, in the syllabus here. So looking at the assignment schedule, week one, 
you can see there uh, the requirements are to write sorry are to read how to read wow let me, let me just read my syllabus that might make it easier the assignment is to read the how to write a good paper that's almost like a tongue twister i think the second one is how to write an article review you want to read those before you do any writing for me these are very important to, to read through to get a sense of what I'm looking for in your writing, even in your one-page writing assignments to do each week. This first week, you'll read The Tempest, and you'll write a thesis page. Again, the thesis page requirements and, the, and how to write a good thesis page are found in the article, How to Write, or how to write a Good Paper. Yeah. You'll read an article that I wrote, actually. Uh, it's been published in Shakespeare Journal. It's called Humiliation redemption and reconciliation in the tempest and i'm looking forward to seeing your comments on that piece uh, don't be shy and then lastly you'll read chapter 12 of thomas foster's text and you'll write a one-page summary now as you look through that it might seem a little daunting gosh this is a lot of work for one week but in truth these are short bits and i believe they're very help helpful as you navigate your way into this class please email me Call me. My phone number is on the syllabus as well. If there are any questions, uh, as you look through this, if anything comes up as confusing, please let me know right away. Um, I think this looks pretty clear, but you know how it is. When you write your own work, it always seems more clear. And that's a good tip for, uh, for you when you go to write papers. Um, I always suggest that you have a friendly reader, um, a friend, a uh, mom and dad, uh, any, anyone who cares about you who's willing to, to look over your work uh, to see if, if you've written some some major errors if you've if you've left some some gaps in the text that you as author creator may have missed that's it best of luck god bless you this semester and i'll talk to you soon bye now